G'day guys, my name is Dave from DT Unboxed and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can turn any regular air conditioner controlled by a remote control into a smart air conditioner that can be fully automated and controlled using your smartphone or your home assistant. So as simply as that. Now to do this, you'll need this device, which is called the Sensibo Sky. Now summer is just around the corner, so I wanted to find a better way to automatically control the temperature in the master bedroom. And I stumbled across this product, which really impressed me in terms of what it can do and the wide range of use cases. For example, you can set up geofencing and when the last person in your household leaves the house, then the air conditioner will just turn itself off automatically. So I'll leave a link to this particular device in the description below if you wanna check it out. So anyway, in this video, I'll show you what you get in the box, how to set it up, my thoughts on the device, and also I'll be running through a couple of troubleshooting issues. As happy as I was with the final result of this product, I will note that I did encounter some connection issues when I first purchased this device. At the end of the day, it got resolved, but I'll speak more about that later and what to do if the same issue happens to you. Right, so let's quickly see what's inside the box. So here's our sensor bow. Now, one thing I might say is that this feels really light. It's just a bit of plastic. So there's no real weight to it, but I guess that's good because it's really, uh, it should be very easy to stick on walls. Let's peel this plastic off, shall we? Ah, nothing more satisfying than that. We've got a power brick and a standard USB cable. And that's everything inside the box. Now what this device does is it essentially mimics the signals that your remote control transmits to your air conditioner. So not only can it turn your air conditioner on and off, but it can also adjust some of the other settings of your air conditioner, such as the temperature and the swing modes as well. I have only tested this out on my Mitsubishi air conditioner here. So in terms of the range of functionalities that you can control using the smartphone app, I think it may depend on your particular AC model. So once you've connected this to your Wi-Fi network, all you need to do is position this anywhere in the room that the AC is installed, ideally in plain sight so that it can send that signal. This does need a wired connection. So there's a USB port down here and it needs to be connected to power at all times in order for it to work, of course. The device itself is super light though. So it's got double-sided tape on the back or you can use a screw to mount it as well. But it's very, very light, so very simple to install on any wall surface. So once installed, you can control the air conditioner from anywhere in the world from your smartphone and even use it with Google Home or Alexa to control it with your voice. You can also set schedules for your Sensibo to turn on your AC periodically during the week or you can set climate react settings so the sensor bow itself acts like a thermostat, so it can read temperature and humidity. With the climate react settings, you could tell it to turn on the air conditioner as soon as the room temperature hits 25 degrees, for example, and turn off once it hits your desired temperature. So you can save a lot of power by using this device in a thoughtful manner. And finally, the other cool feature about the sensor bow sky is the geofencing. So using the GPS on your iPhone, as soon as you leave your house or the vicinity of your house, it will then send the signal to the sensor bow to turn off the air conditioner, which can save a lot of energy. So now I'm gonna quickly show you how to set up the device with your air conditioner remote control, and I'm also gonna show you how the app works. So now I'll show you how to set up the sensor bow sky with your air conditioner. So you'll need to download the sensor bow app first, and then We'll go add device, go Sensibo Sky. You'll need to connect your Sensibo to the USB cable and the LED will blink about once every two or three seconds. Then you need to find the QR code on the back here, click next and then press to scan. So just scan the QR code and the app will pick that up. Then we just need to choose our room name, 
choose the temperature unit Celsius or Fahrenheit and then choose our home location. So this will work with the geofencing so that if you leave that particular location, you can set it up so that it turns off your air conditioner automatically. So select our location, ask to join the Sensibone network, join. Now this app is a little buggy. Sometimes it doesn't actually pick up and connect properly. So you just need to try again. See, so it said failed, but if I try again, it should work. There we go. So I'll show a list of available Wi-Fi networks. So we'll select our home Wi-Fi network then enter in your password. Okay, so it's starting to flash and it's gone solid there and it's turned off. So device is now connected successfully. And then the last thing you need to do is do the remote setup. So it needs to synchronize with your air conditioner's remote control. So you can click next and then you need to point your air conditioner's remote at the device. So point it at the sensor bow and then push on. And the app will show you how many signals are being received from the remote. And there it says remote successfully detected click OK and you're done. So this is the app and basically what you can do is turn on or turn off your air conditioner. You can see the room temperature and the room humidity up the top. Now the sensor bow sky itself is a thermostat so it picks up the temperature and the humidity in the room and can show it to you in a graph like so. So this is last night, you can see the temperature dips and it picks back up during the day. So it's pretty cool to see the actual temperatures on a graph. But anyway, back to the functions. So you can go heat mode, you can turn it to cool. So these are all functions that have come from my remote control. So swing, swing horizontal, swing vertical. Then up here, you can set schedules. So you can set it to turn on your air conditioner at the same time every single week. You have events here, so this is where it tracks the temperature. And then in the settings, you can control things like geofence settings and climate react settings. So if it reaches a certain temperature in the room, the air conditioner turns on, for example. So it's a really powerful app, lots of features and lots of ways of controlling your air conditioner however you want. Now, earlier I mentioned some issues I had when trying to connect the device the first time around. So what happened was when I was trying to connect the sensor boat to the home Wi-Fi and the app, it just wouldn't connect no matter what I did. I then found something strange. Now in the app, the prompt was saying that it was having trouble connecting to sensor bow with this particular ID number. And that's the ID number that the app reads on the QR code on the back of the device. However, when I went to the Wi-Fi settings on my phone, the available connections showed a different Sensibo ID number. So my thinking is that for whatever reason, the QR code on the back of the device didn't match what the device actually was. And therefore, there was no way for me to tell the app this discrepancy. So I was always looking for the QR code device and not the one that was actually available. So I contacted Sensibo support showing them this issue and thankfully they were able to send me another one free of charge. So if a similar thing happens to you, just make sure that the Sensibo ID on the app that it's trying to connect to and the ID that is showing up on the Wi-Fi network match up. If they don't, then you could have the same issue that I did and you'll have to contact support. Finally, I just wanna note a couple of connection troubleshooting issues. So first off, this only works on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So if you're running a five gigahertz Wi-Fi network, then this won't connect. Now, if you're confident that the sensor boat IDs match up, but you're still having trouble connecting this to your Wi-Fi network, then you can also connect it manually using a laptop. And I'll show you how to do that right now. Now, if you're having trouble connecting the sensor boat sky to your home Wi-Fi network via the app, then we can do it manually. So I'll show you how you can do that right now on a laptop or a desktop computer. Now, first off, make sure that you 
hit the reset button on the side. So just get a little pin or needle and push that button so that the light is blinking once every few seconds. Blinking once every few seconds means it's in setup mode. So you need to go to your Wi-Fi, try to find the device. So here it says Sensibo 79034. So I'll tap that to connect to the device. And then I'll try to connect the device to the home Wi-Fi. So then you'll need to go to your browser, type in 192.168.1.1, hit enter, and then you'll be prompted with this screen. You can then go configure Wi-Fi, select your Wi-Fi network, enter the password, and then it'll say credentials saved. And now the sensor bow should start trying to pick up the Wi-Fi and hopefully it'll connect. There we go, it starts blinking a bit quicker. And once it goes solid, that means the SensorBoost guy is now successfully connected to the home Wi-Fi network. So there you go, guys. Again, if you want to pick up the SensorBoost guy and turn your AC into a smart AC, then head to the link below to have a look. The whole concept behind this is pretty amazing, in my opinion. I think the awesome thing is that instead of having to buy a brand new AC with the smart features already included, you can simply at the fraction of a cost, keep your existing AC and turn it into a smart device within minutes. So if you guys have any questions about this sensor bow, please let me know in the comments below. Overall, I'd highly recommend the product, but there was I was a little disappointed with the first unit that I got. Thankfully, the support team resolved this issue, so I'm happy with that at the end of the day. It'd mean a lot if you could hit that like button, hit subscribe, and Again, if you have any questions about this device, then let me know in the comments below. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time on DT Unboxed. Cheers.